morning. Well, welcome. <coughs> There's a fragrance left from enlightenment. Enlightenment never fades. It appears to come and go like everything else. It appears to be a memory about specific things. But they soon pass like everything else. But there's a flavour that reveals that what is taking place <laughs> is absolute nonsense. A mind full of nonsense, a mind field full of words and absolute hilarious experiences of nonsense. Nothing makes sense to the enlightened mind. Meaning, whatever you take on board is trying to be juxtaposed, manipulated, put into a file, a category, a folder. Because something used to say it's important. You gotta to go to school and learn all this stuff because it's important. It's gonna be useful. You gotta to go to work and learn how to do a trade because it's gonna be useful. It's just an experience. School is an experience. School means nothing about education. Sex means nothing about the relationship between two people. Sex means let's create a baby. Let's give birth. That's all consciousness knows. That's all God knows is birth, give birth, give birth, give birth. Nothing about death. Nothing about taking things away. That's why this nonsense is beautiful. It's extremely exciting to be in a world full of nonsense. There's nothing serious. There's nothing really important there's no status everything is the same everything is the same nonsense same delusional beauty tranquil pot of mixed states mixed attitudes mixed words mixed races mixed but everything is the whole same thing we are here accidentally we're born accidentally. Our bodies are given to us accidentally. Because like the universe, the star that falls or the meteorite or the whatever falls from the universe, when it starts leaving this universe or starts flying through this universe, it says absolutely nowhere, no idea where it's going. If you throw a bottle of ink, as Mr. Alan Watts says, against the wall, do you know the ink? path. Do you know where each droplet of ink is going to end up? It's an explosion. Some dries quicker, some falls down quicker, some disintegrates quicker, some changes colour quicker. It's just a mishmash of accidental, incredible, mystical, magical nonsense. And what's wrong with nonsense, you see? Your mind will try and interpret everything about this world there's nothing to interpret even your name is an accident your name is an accident because the parents probably had 10 names and something happened to make that name that you've got stand out and once it was given it was oh well it's done now let's accept it and that's the best way to live your life yeah it's done now let's accept it Let's not move on, let's be moved on. Let's let this roller coaster ride let itself loose. When the leaf falls from the tree, it does not fall in a particular way. There is no God controlling anything. It is just happening spontaneously, spewing birth. God is birth, God is the act. God is the act. There's no actors. There's just things spewing. In our time-based world, we've created this time. 
to slow things down. No, because we're nosy buggers, you know. Mm, I want to see what's going on. I want to understand what's going on. I'm intelligent. I'm a theorist. I'm a physicist. I'm a philosopher. I'm a joiner. I know everything about joinery. Teacher says, I know everything about teaching. Child says, I know everything about picking my nose. I can pick my nose better than you can pick your nose. We <laughs> have this idea that there's a concise way that everything is programmed, everything is happening on its own. It's a simultaneous event. Everything is nonsense, but everything is absolute clarity. So you'll find the speaker speaking like that, but in our time-based world. I'm speaking the same thing that I've spoken since birth, at the same moment, at the same frequency, at the same vibration, but at a each time I speak, it appears as if it's coming out with different essences, with different words. We're just vibrating. We're a frequency of nonsense today. Tomorrow, we could be a frequency of clarity. But tomorrow is no difference from today. Because everything is happening here and now. Everything is happening in the present moment. This is truth. This is all that is where everything is, this nonsense and this clarity is derived from. This fluctuating stable one moment that in the hospital, when that beep, 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 boo, means death. It actually means return to original state. Not death. Death is nonsense, birth is nonsense, all of these words are nonsense, but they are fantastically delivered by some fantastical force to give us fantastical experiences. A mind that has fantastic imagination, it's colossal, it's infinite nonsense. It's infinite change, it's infinite clarity, it's infinite stability. All of these worlds are the same. You can take every theorist that has put some sort of aspect onto what they think is going on. That could be every person. And the expectation is when we have all theories together, we will uncover one that is the root theory, taking all these theories and putting it together. Nonsense. Nonsense seen with clarity. One of the things you learn in life, I, 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 this I learned in life, is to take life serious is going to kill your every cell in your body. The cells will die anyway. The cells are dying. We get older, we die. The body dies. It fades back into the pot of nonsense for more nonsense or more clarity or more stability. <laughs> To take life serious is blasphemy. To worry about things. You know, I mentioned earlier about a story about when this voice spoke. And it's just a reminder to say you're taking life serious, far too serious. Yeah? Look at the simple things you have. Look at what is actually taking place. Look at the flower blooming, blossoming. Yeah? Look at the light behind you. Look at the noises. Listen. Look at the noises. There's nothing serious about that. All the water ripples down the bottom. And it creates a reflection. What's the serious? Is there anything serious? An ego mind takes life serious. Because it's fearful of all these simple things. 
because these simple things are boring to the ego mind. The simple things about life and colour and the ability to paint and the flowers growing are boring. This nonsense is boring. And nonsense is appearing as boredom for that individual. Tomorrow, I may not take these things serious. Because taking even these things serious is taking life serious. It's bullshit. Everything is just an array of shit. A beautiful, aromatic essence of absolute, incredible, whatever it is. And that's what I want to leave you with. Whatever it is, it friggin' well is. And that's my statement that I would like to leave for this planet. Whatever it is, it friggin' well is. It is that what it is. Anything that wants to discover anything from these worlds and try and make sense of it is a suffering fool. And we all play the fool every day. The idea of not playing the fool is foolish. Be the fool. Be fully fool. Be wholefully fool. Be, be holy fool. Because one day, you'll be empty. And no more of this nonsense will go on. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? To actually make that question, to raise that question, to make that statement, is suffering. The minute you try and establish one side, you've been sucked out of the middle of the core that is the creator of this nonsense. You don't want that. Don't take sides. Don't take the sides of nonsense. Don't take the sides of clarity. Don't take the sides. Because the sides lead you to a wall. You can't get over the wall. You have to turn around and you start reflecting, bouncing like that bagatelle game. Ping, 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 ping off the sides. Remove the sides. Remove the sides. You see, the door is open. One of the only things that really is about Christ is not in words, is not in written anything is the idea that Christ, in every picture, in every movie, is open arms. Because he's taken the sides down. And what is in the middle is pure, beyond clarity, beyond nonsense. That will only be uncovered when I disappear, when you disappear, when me disappears. When all of this disappears, you can experience it right now, but you're going to have to come back. And when you do, you're going to have to share it. And what it's going to be seen as is absolute nonsense for some, depending on the mood they're in that day, and ac absolute clarity for others, depending on the mood they are in that day. Mood they are in that day. But those who ignore it, those who are not watching this, those who are not watching anything, not looking, not analyzing, not aware, not attentive, not awake, not enlightened, not asleep, those who few that are exempt are the ones that have no name. Take no sides. 
Have a nonsense day. <laughs> Namaste.